Guys, UFC 291 is going to be so exciting. And even more so now, because it is now just broke as of yesterday that uh, Jamal Hill will be vacating his light heavyweight title due to a ruptured Achilles. A nasty injury. Probably won't be able to fight for, for at least a year, uh, maybe longer. So... What happens with, with the light heavyweight title now? What are we going to see happen? Well, ironically, or uh, coincidentally, this uh, UFC 291, um, Dustin Poirier versus Gaethje fighting for the BMF belt, the, uh, the second fight on the main card is a very, very exciting fight, extremely exciting fight. Um, Alex Pereira has decided to move up from middleweight up to light heavyweight. And he's fighting um, Jam Blachowicz, which, oh my god, Black Blachowicz is a, is a monster, guys. He is an absolute monster. Obviously, a previous uh, light heavyweight champ, um, previous belt holder. Piera being a belt holder um, in the middleweight division, I think it would make for a super, super interesting light heavyweight title match. I mean... I don't think you can get much better than that in the light heavyweight division right now. Light heavyweight division's kind of, for lack of better words, not very exciting. We'll say that. But now that Alex Pereira has decided to go up to light heavyweight, um, if he wins this, if he wins this belt, it would be super, super interesting to see Izzy come up and wait and maybe fight Pereira for for a light heavyweight belt and go for that double champ status. I don't know, guys. This is just some possibilities with Jamal Hill being out for a while. And um, these two about to fight in uh, UFC 291. I think it could be for some extremely exciting storytelling for the UFC. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to comment. We're going to be coming. Uh, coming. <laughs> Jesus. We're going to be... Um, we're going to be following up on this story on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to see that. Um, yeah, guys, a lot of exciting stuff happening in the martial arts world, so stay tuned for more.